Hey guys, and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today is episode 74, which means it is the last episode working on the exterior of this here castle. So we got a lot of last little bits kind of all over the place that I've saved for this episode that we're gonna be finishing up. Like we gotta work on this area here a little bit, but it's looking pretty freaking awesome. I just love walking up these stairs and watching that height just get larger and larger and larger as we go up farther and farther and farther into the sky or up into the castle. I just think it is so, so cool. So anyways, today what we're gonna be working on is all this stuff out here. And I was hoping there's a little way out right there, but it looks like I might've patched that guy up. So what we're gonna do is head on out this way. And what we're gonna be started working with today is the cliffs down in this area, because we have yet to do those. So we gotta go ahead and get the nice little bits of texture variation, everything like that on these guys, kind of like we do everywhere else, but we got from pretty much where you can see that light gray concrete powder over there, all the way around this guy to where we were flying down before. So we got this little stretch to be working with. We gotta detail this up, get some bushes in here, making it look super cool, and making it really, really work with the castle here, because you can see we did that part right over there. So we're basically moving that stuff all the way across here, which I'm hoping will look really, really cool. So we can get up on, oh, we can't get up on, that, up on that guy apparently, but I got a lot of stuff here in our inventory. I went ahead and grabbed a one stack of light gray terracotta and one and a bunch of stacks of light gray concrete powder because I thought I didn't have any and then I made some and then I realized that I had a bunch. So we just got a bunch of crap in here now, but we can go ahead and start dotting around this light gray concrete or this light gray terracotta for now because I think this kind of as like a starter block really helps kind of get the ideas of where we want those darker shadows to be. And then it helps with kind of laying out the rest of the stuff and gives helps me personally get a better idea of what I want the overall shapes to look like and where the lines are going to be drawn and things like that. But I've been messing with a lot of ideas in my head while I've been kind of at work thinking, trying to think through different like texture palettes and things like that. Of actually, cause I'm super, super excited to get over to start building on the mountains. Granted, those things are going to be a few months away. But those mountains I keep talking about constantly that we're going to be moving towards building way over on the east side of the farming village. We're going to be doing some big old mountains over there. If you haven't heard me talk about it for about the millionth time now, we're going to be doing some mountains. So those mountains will be pretty cool. But yeah, that's like the bell thing all over again. Yeah, <laughs> but those I've been actually thinking about trying to find out some new like terracotta blocks that because I really, really like how this is working in these right here. So I want to find some new terracotta blocks and things that we can start using in those guys to help get some more interest in there. Anyways, you guys have seen me do this many, many times before, as with a lot of stuff that's going to be going on in this episode as we kind of just clean up the final last bits here and there and get everything really working for us. So let me go ahead and get all this texture variation in with the stones. We'll see kind of what it turns out to be. And I'll be back with you guys in a little while. And there we go. I think this is looking pretty solid. I actually really, really like it so far. I think it's pretty solid. There's some areas that have a lot of stone in it, but I didn't want to kind of, I felt like I was getting in this pattern where it was like every other line was going to be concrete powder. You can kind of see it up in there. And so I tried avoiding that and mixing it up a little bit more. And on this side, we don't have a whole lot of the greenery because like the seas right there, the wind would be blasting against this guy constantly. So I don't want to throw too much of it in there. And we got this nice little sandy beach down here. So I'm thinking we're going to chalk this guy off as being done. Next thing on my list was going to be updating the map, but it looks like we've already done that. So there it is right there. You can actually see it looking pretty cool with our farming or fishing village out there coming together really, really well. That inn that we were working on a little while back in the stream is coming together really freaking awesome as well. Yeah, this stuff is pretty great. I, I've fallen in love with this area so much and I can't wait for you guys to be able to explore it yourselves. So what I want to work on now, though, is I want to work on kind of how we have this courtyard set up here, really cleaning up everything. I would love to go ahead up and kind of continue this type of stuff up here uh, throughout the rest of the build, trying to get all that stuff in there. And I'm realizing now that we got to do something about this wall right here. We weren't going to be doing a lift for it. So maybe we figure out something to do with that. Let me go get my inventory situated and I'll come back and we can figure that guy out. All right, so I wanna start by quickly in some texture variation in this guy, cause we haven't done that yet either. And I guess I completely spaced on this wall here. So we'll go ahead and do this guy real quick and just do kind of like a super quick job with it. Cause there's a lot of stuff I wanna get done today. Surprisingly for our last episode, there's supposed to be really about like the last little bits here and there, kind of making sure everything's going in. Wow, I feel like Minecraft is like, very spotty right now. What is my render distance at? Nope, that's at 12. That's at normal. 
I really don't know what's going on. Something feels like frames are skipping like crazy for me. If you guys are feeling that too in this episode, you'll have to let me know and I'll see if I can't get it fixed. But I got a kind of an idea. So I got kind of an idea of what I want this guy to be looking like uh, as far as the lift structure goes. And I guess we can start on that right now. So what I wanted to do was kind of get you in there, you in there, and I want to see what it would look like if we literally just brought this guy straight across there and had this as the lift. So we can go ahead and do on you. Nope, that's not what I want to do. So something like on that guy right there, we go ahead and do like a fence going all the way up there and that's kind of how the lift would work more or less. So this side right here would be fence going all the way up to it as well. And so that's kind of what lifts it up. And then that thing up top could like slide around, I guess. Like we, we'd some way like rotate it back and forth between them. I don't really know. I'm trying to, I'm just making this up kind of as we go here. Let's get an ender pearl out and see if we can't get on top of this guy. Yeah. And there's a little endermite down there. Look at that little guy. He's, he's being so cute. I hate those things. I hate those things so much. I hate them so, so much. But what we're doing here, just kind of make it look more like a lift itself is we're just, we are just surrounding it with trap doors, making it look a little bit better. Let's go ahead and kill this Endermite because that sound bugs the crap out of me. Let's get rid of you, thank you. But yeah, there we go, we got a little bit of a lift going on. We can go ahead, maybe do note blocks, chests and stuff and kind of fill this area in, make it look like they're trying to get some goods up there into the hayloft. I know, <laughs> I guess technically we'd probably need to do some hay in here or something like that, but maybe just something right here. That's probably a little too lopsided and heavy if we do that. So yeah, let's leave it at that right there. That looks like a good way to do it. And this guy, what I want to do in here is probably come on to the sides and do like that and that and go ahead and grab our stone brick and kind of just do that along the bottom here. Maybe it just kind of helps it look a little bit stronger thinking up here to make it Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that's good. And then what we can do here is because this is like a We kind of need to go ahead and make it look like this door can shut if that's if that makes sense So we want to go ahead and fill this in with trap doors right here and right here We actually want to go ahead and do that right there. So it's looking like it's a little closer. So it's like a sliding door that can go back and forth and then there to there and kind of going back and doing its own thing. I think that looks pretty cool. It's kind of a big old wooden trap door wall, but I think that'll work for kind of what the idea we're trying to get across. Maybe we'll swap that out to spruce trap doors in the future once we got those as part of the base game. So let me go ahead and get the texture variation in on this guy and we'll move on to something else. All right, there we go. Texture variation is all in and this guy's pretty done and dusted. I threw a banner up there just to get that extra little splash of color. And I really like this area. I think once we start working on like the dog kennels or whatever in there, we can maybe bring some stuff out into here. But what if real quick, we've kind of just put that guy right there. Maybe do like a note block and note block and maybe like one right in there. And we go ahead and throw a little bit of like a chest in. Yeah, I think that'll be good. That just adds a little bit extra non-gray color into this lower area. And I think that'll help it out quite a bit. So moving on to the next area, we're just working our way up the castle. As you guys can see, we're gonna be walking up this way. And I really like leaving this area right here kind of open. That reminds me though, I do wanna grab some anvils. So I'm thinking out the front of the main entrance of the castle, we're gonna go ahead and throw two anvils with some oak leaves on top of it, get some cool color in there. And then we can come on up here and this whole lower area, I'm not too sure what I wanna be doing down in here quite yet. I'm thinking maybe some just potted plants along the wall right there could be pretty cool. But I was thinking with these anvils is we can go ahead and bring them in like that and like that and go ahead and grab our oak leaves and just do like nice little potted plants right there. I think that'll look Add a little nice touch to it without making it too busy because up here we don't want to do anything too crazy. We don't want to do like a bunch of stacked up crates or anything stupid like that. So we want to leave this area very much like a regal royal finish to it. So it's going to be very fancy, very open. And I'm honestly, I was thinking about like potentially doing like a little fountain on that wall, but I don't think so. I kind of like the idea of this being open unless we want to come in later and do something more. We probably want to throw some banners up here though, seeing as this is the castle, like main entrance itself. We do need to actually get a door on this guy right in there. So maybe we'll get that going too. But I'm thinking for that door, we're probably gonna literally just mimic 
the one we have right down here because I really, really like how that works. So what is that? Dark oak wood and spruce wood and dark oak wood and then buttons and some dark oak doors. Okay, let me go ahead and get that stuff and I'll be right back. All right, well, there we go. It is a little bit smaller than the other one, but I think it works well and I think that it kind of helps bring to that grand entrance. At least for now, that door is closed off on us so we can't see into the big empty area. So I think that really does help this area out. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for something up here for now. I think that's okay to leave that guy. Our inventory is a complete mess. But what we're going to do is we're going to dot puzzle right along here. That's kind of what I like using for the like the planning material more or less. So we can go ahead and do bam, bam. And that might not work because we got that weird gap right in there. So maybe we go ahead and skip that middle one and do a lower one and an upper one. So we go ahead and get rid of this guy. And we can go ahead. God, this game is still feeling really, really skippy for some reason. I do not know what's going on. I think it might restart it real quick. But and see if that doesn't help it out. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let me restart Minecraft real quick, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, Minecraft is restarted, and I think it actually is a lot more stable now, so that's really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so that we got those two uh, rose pots in there with the two bushes each, and I just went ahead and add this guy in here, and I think that's probably going to do it for this area. Next thing on our list for things to clean up is right up here. So we got the top of these open towers that are just kind of like sitting here doing their own thing. They're pretty just wide open. Hey, look, there's a crafting table right there. That's pretty nice. And that is not really meant to be there. So do we have any polished andesite on it? We do. Let's go ahead and throw a polished andesite right there. Make that guy even all the way across. And what I wanted to kind of just dot along these guys is some note blocks, some crafting tables and some chests and just things like that. And just kind of make it look like there's actually like supplies up here for like, say if a war is happening, they got their arrows ready to go, ready to fire, ready to start doing their job of defending the castle and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and craft up as many chests as we can. And then as many crafting tables as we can and just kind of leave it at that. I guess that'll work for now. Yeah, so that'll be fine. Actually, that was meant to stay there. So we got all this stuff kind of up here now. I want to go ahead and maybe do like a note block right there and right there. Then like a chest right there or something. And just really, really light decorations going all the way across. I don't want to do a whole lot over in this area just because I feel like we're going to come back here and add some more unique details and interesting bits and good stuff like that. We got two banners left to us. And this last one, we got to save so that we can start duplicating them again. So I'm thinking... We maybe we go ahead and just throw one right there just so we have that banner sigil up on the wall. And yeah, so that is probably pretty good for that little guy right there. I think it's enough. Just I want to just get something in there. Just a little bit of something. And we can go ahead and fly on up here over this guy. And you can see we got a little bit of a larger area up here. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on this guy. So I'll be right back real quick, y'all. I think this is good right here. Just really, really simple. Lots of note crates or note block crates around and things like that and right down here we'll leave this guy actually let's go ahead and do kind of something right back in here maybe like something like that we got to go ahead and actually make up another crafting table right here just to get that guy so we can have one for when we move on to the next spots yeah something like that i really like it i think that's going to really really help us out and maybe we could even go ahead and add some bushes or something in but i feel like they look kind of weird being up this high in the sky so I'm thinking just a few things on the rampart to kind of make it look like people actually live there or not live there, but people are working here doing their thing every single day. They're kind of moving supplies around, making sure the castle's ready for fighting and all that good stuff. So maybe even throw some like right down here. Just I saw this one when we were flying over the top and I was like, maybe we do throw something right down there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. We got a little lift right there all built up. Everything else is looking pretty solid. We got a, I can't remember if over here if there are very many things. And it looks like this is pretty wide open as well. So maybe we just go ahead and throw a few note blocks right in here. Something like that. Go ahead and maybe hide a chest right back there. And we can come over to this area. Maybe hide a crafter table. Make up another one. And kind of keep going like that. I was thinking about going around and doing a bunch of little trapdoor like pots or things. Um, kind of like we do this to make it look like they have something to like an area to hold things inside. But I'm thinking no. I'm thinking that just kind of overcomplicates things. So right there we can do some more crates right like that. That's looking pretty solid. I think that's probably all we need in this area. Maybe we do like a double chest right there. Just help mix it up. 
get some extra detail going on. And now you guys are seeing all the ways that I have hidden for us to walk around the castle. It's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of easy ways to kind of go explore and just have a bunch of really cool stuff. But that's kind of what I want to do for messing up the ramparts and doing that type of stuff. And next, what I want to move on to is our common request in a day. And we're going to spend the, some time sorting these chests out and trying to move them and get rid of these giant freaking chests. So I got to craft up a few more chests so we can have something to move to. And then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys. So here we have our comment question of the day from Diddy Margu. This is part of a comment he left. And I chose this one because it kind of was the quickest way of doing it. And a lot of people actually left this comment. But it says, as for creative mode or creative mode biome building, I think stick with survival, especially since this is a survival let's play. So I decided to choose this as that one. There were quite a few comments kind of going on the same thing since I think it was two episodes we actually talked about briefly going into creative mode because somebody left a comment saying what about creative mode just do it to speed up the process get it over with let's see more building of castles and blah 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 and all that cool stuff and so i decided that for today's comment or question of the day it would probably be a good idea to readdress that and kind of give you guys a little heads up on where i'm thinking with all of it so for starters we're going to be sticking in survival 100 percent. i think that's just kind of how it goes i like how diddy margu put it in here it's that it's a survival uh, series so we we should stick in survival if I want to do a creative series I can do a creative series and I think we can go there from that so what we're doing here is we're literally just transferring all of this junk into I guess we can just break the bottom chest now Aha, so much easier um, but yeah so we're gonna be staying in survival for as much as we possibly can and the only reason that I will ever leave survival in this series is to take a screenshot or a thumbnail and I use spectator mode for that so I can get better angles more easily and I don't have to deal with dirt pillars everywhere and I don't want to just spend all t all freaking day trying to fly around or trying to build dirt pillars to get to the good angles for whatever I'm trying to take a screenshot for for whatever thumbnail it may be so that's kind of why I use spectator mode, but creative mode, I have never hopped into that in, on this series. I don't, yeah, no, I can confidently say I have never hopped into creative mode and I will never be hopping into creative mode here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with all that stuff. And I just kind of wanted to bring this up again, just kind of to reassure you guys that we are going to be staying in survival. That's kind of where we're going. I got a bunch of plans for how we want to be doing this stuff here in the future, kind of where we want to be going with all of it and kind of what it's going to be looking like and i'm really really excited for the future of this series where it's going to be going and we got a lot a lot of fun things planned out especially even for the world tour that's going to be coming up later in this week and two days from now the world tour video will be out with a download for this old castle and all that cool stuff to you you guys can go and explore everything new that we've had here in the world that you guys haven't quite seen yet so that'll be i'm hoping you guys do enjoy that guy anyways let me go ahead and move all these chests over there and I'll be back with you guys because it's just going to be a lot of running back and forth and just grinding through it, getting it over with. You guys don't really need to sit here and watch this, so I'll be back with you guys in just a few. All right, so this guy's all moved out of here and the area looks so bare that I just had to come back and put something in there. I think it might be because there's a solid strip of cobblestone through there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab something and put that right in there. All right, much better. Okay, moving on to the next thing. All right, so for our final thing that we're going to be doing here is I want to make a little bit of like a platform area for people to stand outside here in this little spot. So that's what we're working on right now. I went ahead and put in the base shape for it, just or the base level for it, just so we had something to stand on and figured out where the doors would be. It's on level with the base main floor of the palace, so that's why it's at that height. I think it should be okay going right there. My plan for this guy was, and it's actually going to work out decently well, I hope, was to go ahead and quick get this right back in here and do like that. It was basically to kind of like step these guys down going on the side and making it look kind of more thick and strong and stuff. I don't really know, but I think my brain is finally at that point where I'm home from work and I am just exhausted and it's not working too well. So we got to go ahead and get this episode here closed off pretty soon because I don't think I don't think uh, Whip's old brain right here is gonna be working for too much longer. So let's go ahead and finish this guy up here because this is already feeling not so great. So let's go ahead and do something like that and like that. And we can fill that guy in right there. And we can do bam and bam 
and a bam and that's kind of what i was thinking with this the way that it'd be kind of held up just to do something different because everything else we've done in the castle has basically been like bracing them off the main wall that they're coming off of and i felt like if we did something like this i don't know it'd be kind of just a little bit of a way of mixing it up and kind of adds that cool different shape in here to it so what I want to do after that is come up here to this area and we're going to go ahead and use some, actually no, I want to light it up. We're going to use polished diorite. We're going to do bam, bam. Um, maybe we're not going to do bam, bam. What if we do like that and that and have these outsides be open? I think that might work a little bit better for us. Because then we can do boop, 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 boop. Yep, that is perfect. And then I want to go ahead and do anvil, anvil. And then on top of the anvils, we're going to go ahead and do another freaking cobblestone wall, kind of like that. And then from there, we can go ahead, and I do not have the materials on me. I was going to go ahead and create like a little bit of like a wooden structure kind of coming over this. Let me go ahead and grab some dark oak wood real quick. All right, so I'm thinking just dark oak wood slabs going literally just straight across this guy is going to be good enough. Because I don't want to make it too high detailed in here. I want it to be like really, really simple. So we can go ahead and just bring this guy right across here. And it's all the different simple elements coming together really, really help to bring like the awesome part of the build out. So I, I think this will be good enough. It's kind of a little viewing area where you can, you can go and shoot at some boats if you needed to with some flaming arrows or some something like that. But yeah, so that's kind of where it lines up right there, those two holes. After we get all the floors and everything in here, that'll be looking pretty cool out there. For now, let's just go ahead and do something like that. I'm thinking we almost want to come out here and do some like chairs or something right in there. I do have spruce wood. No, the floor is spruce wood. We can't really do that. I don't know. We need some oak wood or something. You can have a nice chair right here. Maybe the princess sits out here and stares out over the sea and watches all the boats go by. So that could be kind of cool. We can add stuff to this spot later on. But guys, that is going to have to do it for the castle of castle bleak rock right here i think that's the first time i've officially said the name but castle bleak rock that is what this guy is named i really really hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far it seems like the channel has really really started to explode because of it so we're going to be moving forward doing a lot of awesome things here in the near future as we're furthering our building with whip series creating some awesome more stuff in this world Please hit that like button if you guys did enjoy it. really means a lot to me as this is our final episode here with the castle. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys like be seeing next. We have our general theme of train generation, or not generation, but custom biomes and things like that going forward for the next little while. But mini builds here and there would love to have some ideas for those guys to mix it up. So we're not doing the same thing over and over again, but I'm really, really hoping you guys enjoyed this build right here. I freaking love this castle. I love this guy so much. I can't wait for you guys to be able to come over here and explore this yourself. So yeah, before this outro gets to be more than a million hours or whatever we're at now of me blabbing on about the castle, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. And I will see you guys in the next episode for the World Tour and Download. See you guys.